to go out further out unless it's lower tide out here. Okay. Yeah, because the one we saw, like, literally maybe, like, a mile down the road, it was, like, twice the size of that one. Yeah, yeah. There was another one just before you turned by that little uh, bird sanctuary. You saw the white birds. Uh-huh. I stopped. And they just closed that thing off. They just drudged it out. You see, you could drive back there, and there was an entry to an old plantation. You could walk all through there, and they can't get back there. Damn. Yeah, you said you've been coming here for a few years? I've been coming here since I was pretty much born. I can't even remember some of the times when I was very little. I grew up like five miles from here. Oh, wow. Yeah, my dad would come here at least once a week, sometimes twice. That's awesome. We did. I would love to have this. My, my uncle just retired from here. He was the, uh, the mechanic for all the heavy machinery it's across the street where their maintenance is. Oh. That's so cool. Yeah, yes, that one there is a small one. Uh, but you don't think it's a baby? Uh, no, no, no. That one there is, looks like it's at least four and a half, five, maybe even six feet long. At, can't really see the tail. Yeah, I can't see the tail. Uh, no, that one there is probably at least two years old, two or three years old. Huh. But, uh, you can't really, the only way you can really tell is obviously you would have to them, but you would have to, yeah. Oh, okay. Out, yeah, so, <laughs> other than that, there's no distinguishable marks between a male or a female. They both grow to the same size. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was surprised to see her kind of come a little close at times. That, that lets you know sometimes they either expect food. Yeah. They won't attack you unless you either provoke, cornered them. Or if you have gotten close to their young, or they're really hungry. <laughs> That's what I figured. Really hungry, like that lady that just, you hear about the lady. Like oh, the lady and her dog and whatever. The dog thing. Yeah. Now, obviously, it went after the dog because she just got pulled under trying to save it. Exactly. Beach, but there has been one of that girl about four years ago in, down in South Florida that she was just taken in by, like, pulled in in a, in a community, like a golf course community, and it just seen her running by. And that was a very rare occurrence, but it was a big gator. I mean, it was like at least, I think they said upwards of 10 feet long. Yeah, because I was going to say, it's pretty rare that they attack humans, right? Like, yeah, unless they're, they're provoked. Yeah, they're not very aggressive in terms of us. They're more, really more or less more afraid of us. Yeah. But they are very protective of their young, too. Yeah. Like, I could look like the sound that, like, I could provoke her right now just by making that sound. Like, that hissing sound? No. It's, or, oh, oh, oh. Like that. Do it really loud, it'll totally catch their attention. You'll Why? See what? Belly, like, like, well up. She'll like get a big like uh, gold air. Like she's ready to. Huh? What's that? The sound of? Huh? What's that? The sound of? That's the sound of the bait, the bait gator. Oh. Like they, they make that sound. It's kind of like a bullfrog. Bullfrogs. Oh, we heard that noise. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. That is a baby gator. Huh? Call. Oh, gotcha. So yeah, she hears yeah. that and she's like... I've got some uh, uh, GoPro footage of about a week ago. I was out at a lake uh, far and I was kind of fishing from an inner tube, which is kind of fun. <laughs> Just an inner tube. And one came up and checked me out and, and she was much smaller than her. And she got about from me to you. And I'm out there with no defense but my rod. <laughs> I was just kind of feeling frisky and I started doing a distress call. Oh, God. I started bopping her in the head to keep her away from me. Was like, uh, yeah, I was like, that's a bad <laughs> idea. Yeah. So I kind of made it for sure and called it the day that day. Yeah, <laughs> that's ballsy even for me. Like. <laughs> well, you guys enjoy. Hopefully, uh, maybe you guys can catch low tide this way. Yeah, do you know what time that normally is around here? Or? Uh, it changes every day. Like, yeah. it's, it's not on. Like tides are, they fluctuate. They're not on the on 12 hour increments. Yeah. Roughly 12 plus a few minutes, so every day it's about 10 minutes longer. Okay. So, probably around like 5 ish yeah, around there?
day. It comes in and out twice a day. So the, it's uh, high tide at 1.15 today and low will be about 8.15. Ah, right? uh, 8.15. So if you want to catch tomorrow's low tide, Y'all's going to be in town, but it's kind of catching them. The lower tides are kind of in the cooler parts of the day in the morning and the late evening, it's right this summer. Sure. Uh, if you catch a low tide in the, in the high noon or like later, later parts, like five in the afternoon, that's good and it's good to live. It's an ideal time. Awesome, man. Y'all awesome. Good luck. Thanks. Appreciate it, man.